Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Amplify. My name is Sarah Hickson. I'm a second year master's student in the Indigenous Studies program, as well as the K-12 education intern here at the Spencer. And today I'm going to be talking with you about a print titled The Evening Hymn by Le Mercier. This print shows this hunched over man um, kind of over to the right hand side with a stringed instrument on the ground like he had just dropped it. And this group of younger people singing, playing music on this Viking style um, sailboat. In the description of this piece, um, it's said that it's an Orpheus like figure. Um, and that is, is so because the there's a liar on the ground. And that's something that he would typically be depicted with to really signify that he was the god of music. He was never without his lyre, was always singing, um, always playing music. And this is a defeated version. Um, so the story of Orpheus kind of goes like this. Um, he had just married Eurydice, whom he loved dearly, and she was bitten by a snake and died. Some accounts say on their wedding nights, some say not long after their wedding. And um, in his grief, Orpheus descends to the underworld um, to get her back. And he plays and he sings um, to gain entry into the underworld and to gain favor with Hades whom ultimately decides to let her go, but on one condition, that Orpheus not look back at her until they've left the underworld. And as they're just about to reach the light, he doesn't hear her anymore. And so in his doubt, he turns around and she vanishes. Again, completely distraught, he walks around the forest um, without playing. He doesn't, he doesn't play, he doesn't sing, he doesn't eat, doesn't drink, um, until he comes across this group of um, followers of Dionysus, which is the wine god um, in Greek mythology. And um, because he had shunned all human contact um, in his grief, they get angry with him. And it could be that he didn't want to drink with them. He didn't want um, to have sex with them. They were so angry that they killed him, um, like in typical Greek tragedy fashion. Um, but this... Um, this whole idea of Orpheus being so completely distraught that he doesn't enjoy life anymore, that he doesn't um, doesn't do the he doesn't do the one thing that really makes him happy, which is play music, reminds me of the line in a song well titled Orpheus, um, in which this um, the artist Sarah Bareilles is telling her lover to to not turn into Orpheus, um, to lean on her. Um, and so that's the song that I'm going to perform for you. Come by the fire, lay down your head. My love, I see you're growing tired, so set the bad day by the bed and rest a while your eyes can close you don't have to do a thing but listen to me sing i know you miss the world the one you knew the one where everything made sense because you didn't know the truth that's how it works the bottom drops out and you learn we're all just hunters seeking solid ground don't stop try to find me here amidst the chaos though i know it's blinding there's a way out Now, no fear, 
I know that some may never see, but that's enough. If the bottom drops out, I hope my love was someone else's solid ground. Don't stop, try to find me here amidst the chaos. Though I know it's blinding, there's a way out. Sad